Pray, Lord Jesus. I call upon your name. Save me, Jesus. I want to tell you a little bit about these rural crusades. We started with them seven years ago, even though we're doing this gospel outreach for 32 years now. We used to be in the city with these big city-wide campaigns. Now we do these festivals in little villages that average maybe five to 12,000 people. We go right in the rural areas and we're going to have a week long of powerful gospel meetings right in their own village. And we've seen amazing results. Just last year, we had just more than 300,000 new decisions for Jesus. It's effective. And do you know what the best is? It's the discipleship. It's the follow-up. We have a program that is 50 hours of church-based discipleship training that we have taken 12 years to translate into 64 African languages and we bring that discipleship in their own language. And you know what the amazing thing is? Where we used to experience 10% attendance of those who made a commitment in the cities, we're now better than 50%. In fact, some of those villages, it's as high as 65% of the new converts go right through the whole 50 hours of discipleship training. We know because we issue them a certificate if they have done the whole course. The actual vision that we have for Sub-Saharan Africa right now is we want at least one team in every single Sub-Saharan country in Africa to take the gospel to the rural villages. And we, as we have linked hands, mm. So other churches can yeah. link hands yeah. with us. And you know what? It's not impossible. We can do it and we can do it yeah. actually very rapidly yeah. if we just link hands and say, we can do this job yeah. together. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and God had only one son and he made him a missionary. And I believe the calling for the church is go into all the world, into every nation, preach this gospel. So that's every person's responsibility. No church needs a special call for missions. You need a special call to stay. And, uh, and if you're not going to go, then you need to send a substitute. You need to empower or partner someone who's going to go in your place. And so if I could just challenge you to take on one of these festivals, one of these teams, maybe to buy the equipment or to sponsor a crusade or an outreach in a, in a village. You know, I, I think it should be an amazing benefit and blessing for your church to be represented in one of these sub-Saharan countries. The church today, even in Africa, in the cities is doing a really great job of evangelism. They're reaching their cities. It's not like it was 30 years ago. And yet when you just get a little way outside of the cities into the villages, there's no longer any effective evangelism. And that's what Jesus Alive is concentrating on now. We are doing the villages. So what the church is doing is reaching their Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria. What we're doing is reaching the uttermost part of the earth. What we need from the church, though, is to partner with us, to get involved with us, so that together we do fulfill the Great Commission, where it clearly says that we need to reach the uttermost part of the earth.